Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to show you some Galaxy S8 apps which have been just leaked and there will be a second part to this once we get our hands on the system dump or some new apps, at least 6 of them in order to review them. So thanks for the support for the hidden features video and uh, let me just tell you there is nothing folder like a hidden feature. We have to just go to the activity launcher, go to the all activities, for example in settings, just create a shortcut. Let me just enable another one in order to show you, create a shortcut. As you can see, two shortcuts have been created and then I just kept it into a folder and just named it hidden features there is no such folder like hidden features so i guess you guys got that part a bit wrong but as you can see you do get six apps over here from the galaxy set and if you are already updated to the nougat you will be able to use this and if you are already updated to the nougat february patch you also get these two apps already in the s7 which are the virtual shot viewer and the motion panorama viewer they just view the images there is nothing new to them but as you can see let's just start with the voice recorder this is a standard one the color scheme is much more pinkish it's not red then you get the speech to text now let's just try it it's a bit weird but still are you galaxy s8 yep it got that right uh, the funny part if you just keep it in front of your teacher's mouth and you can record the whole conversation which would be uh, very bad you might get kicked out of the school but still it would be cool let's just try the new app internet beta now the awesome thing is samsung just started with the beta series for the internet and you get to keep the both of the stock internet app and the internet betas let's just open both of them in multi window that would be good both of them are the home screen so the upper one is the older internet which you normally get below ones is the internet beta so if you go to the options menu you don't get much of things you do get sent error reports because it's still in beta and mind some heavier pages on the beta one open pretty quick but as you can see no change into the normal options but if you go to the settings you just get the receive web page notification here it is just a web notification nothing new enable javascript javascript it's more in a developer language <laughs> in the beta one there are more in-depth information over here as you can see privacy has like a whole essay while over here just manage your privacy settings nothing new there is a secret mode security over here while over here there is nothing wow okay so there is a new feature but if you go to the extensions page over here you get whole lot of options on the new beta one as you can see my galaxy buzz on both of them qr core reader is also both of them video assistant is also both of them there are new downloadable content blockers as you can see which is good thing i wanted this thing in the chrome so long but they just didn't it there are just right now ad blockers as you can see tn content blocker ad blocker timber ad block just ad blocks there are not many useful extensions over here as you can see they are downloadable and once they get uh, too much bloated we can also search it which is very awesome thing by samsung and i'm very looking forward in order to use this internet browser because you know it's very heavy and i'm uc browser fan from the start then we come to the music music looks the same but the animations are a bit more smoother also the background blur is much more refined much more glossy it's not a plain color as you can see you can easily make out this yellow orange red while as in the before it's just a plain color also on the left it doesn't touch even if you scroll while as on the right it's still touched over there but if you go to the music you can like it and the liked music appears on the left which is a very nice addition if you have shit ton of mp3 as you can see you get the manage tabs you get the new tab over there and everything is just normal you can also skip silences if you have some audio recording and there is just wind in between it will just skip that parts and it does quite well then we come to the S translator. It's just an app overhaul. There is nothing much new over here. Just the icon has been changed and a bit theme changed. So guys, thanks for watching. This was a short video on some leaked Galaxy S8 apps. All the apps links will be in the description so you can download them freely. There is no root needed. You can just install it right away like a normal APK. So guys, thanks for watching. Peace.